I went and scouted a piece of private land that I've got permission to hunt and it was just so thick and so loud. It's like 200 acres, but there just wasn't much for me to work with, honestly. Looking at my map here and got a decent little trek for a hunt tomorrow, but it opens up to some pretty nice country. Tomorrow's hunt should be a good one. Hopefully it's not too thick. Hopefully I can find a way through. Should we shoot a bear? You wanna shoot a bear tomorrow, Ranger? I mean, we'll shoot a bear too, so. Man, I am tired. It feels like it's like midnight. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. What do you think? All right, we'll see you bright and early. So I just did a quick blurb. This is take two. <laughs> did the whole thing without hitting record. That's pretty funny. We're recording now. All right, we're recording. So take two. I forgot my sleeping bag. It's pretty darn cold up here. Well, like 3,500 feet right here, which isn't too bad. So I ended up sleeping in a couple of moving blankets. A couple of moving blankets and uh, had a down vest that I actually sewed into a sleeping bag for Ranger on my feet. And I slept in my, my puffer pants. And I actually slept pretty darn good. So far this morning, I bumped three deer that I haven't been able to get eyes on. It took me a long time to get down in here. Hopefully it pays off.
Well, we, uh, we got that fork it horn. I watched him dig in a bed um, on the shady side of a rock. It was pretty cool. Sat there and just kicked all the rocks away. And then uh, he's bedded down in the shadow 350 yards away. Probably be the smallest buck I've ever shot with one of the worst pack outs I've ever done. It's not a good combo. I don't think I've even been here an hour. Saw four does come up and then I had three right below me and then that one buck. It's a pretty active spot. I'm a little bummed out because I wish I had had my, my sleeping bag and a little bivvy because I would stay the night right here. I don't have enough clothes to stay warm. It got pretty cold last night. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage of this buck. Hope we can set rock down there. He's a happy little camper. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him. New bucks. Hey, lay down. Lay down. You gotta give us away. Getting kind of hungry. <sighs> Do I just shoot this buck? I don't know if I'm gonna get another opportunity to hunt. I think tomorrow might be my last day. Cause I leave for Idaho in a couple weeks. Gotta be big deer out here. It's big deer country. Well, I've scaled a little over a thousand feet. We had some uh, some frost last night. It's 31 degrees this morning in September. So I was able to pick up a couple sets of fresh tracks. One good buck, the other a couple of does. I do that so I can hear. It's not even uh, nine o'clock yet. I've heard nine gunshots. It's like the damn Hunger Games out here. Seen some pretty good bedding. I'm just gonna keep zigzagging down the hill, working this big timber. Back. So I went to the top of that, came all the way around, side hilled, and then pop down through here and I've been stopping 
just been glassing all this burnt timber. There's some good buck tracks in here. I saw some really nice sets of tracks. Could have shot that fork on yesterday and I'm okay with that. I'm definitely happy with the decision I made. Once again, not every hunt is gonna be a successful hunt. Just like to share my experiences with friends, family, and everyone else. <laughs> well, since there's been no sign, let me take that back. Since I haven't heard a deer or seen one, there's been sign. Um, it's time to start Operation Bump and Jump. Back down to the truck.